Maria Ferris. I'm a registered dietitian, master personal trainer, and a corrective exercise specialist. I am now 18 days post-op rotator cuff surgery, and I just wanted to give you some helpful tips and let you know how it's going with me so you can plan for your surgery and have a better recovery. If you haven't already seen my episode one, um, go back and take a look at that, and that will tell you how I'm feeling right after the surgery. So first of all, I've noticed a big improvement after about the 12th day. I was feeling more energy, able to get up more and walk around and, and do more things. Um, the pain was more manageable. And right now, well, right now I'm off all my pain meds, but about day 12, I really stopped using all the oxycodone completely and then just using a combination of Tylenol and acetaminophen. Um, definitely talk to your doctor about dosages because there is a dose that will be maximum for you to use per day and that's pretty important to know what the maximum is, okay? Um, I am so glad I pre-prepped all those meals for the freezer and that I had all the ingredients on hand for making some really quick to prep meals. I've been relying on my fiance Georgie a lot to help me and having everything ready ahead of time food-wise really was helpful. So in the information section of this video, I will give you a link to some really quick and easy minimal prep foods that you can plan um, to make before your surgery. Um, and regarding George, he's been so helpful. You really need to have somebody around for at least 10 days, if not longer. I'm still relying on him a lot. Um, but we found that he was starting to get really tired and I was getting tired of asking him for everything. I was feeling really bad and that led to me being kind of depressed and irritable. You know, think about it. You can't use your, your arm and it's really hard to do things for yourself. So my recommendation is, is to know that this is a normal thing. It passes. Be really good to yourself. Talk kindly to yourself. This isn't a forever thing. This too shall pass. You know, at six weeks, the, the arm will be out of the sling. For me, at least, Your, yours may be different. But six weeks, I'm out of the, the sling. I'm able to drive and do a whole lot more. So it's just a temporary situation. Um, but make it easy for yourself by asking for help. People ask you what you need. Tell them what you need. Maybe some meals. Um, I felt like I had the meal thing down, but I realized that I really needed some help relieving George from driving me to PT twice a week and going to the store. So I reached out and I asked friends to sign up to pick me up and take me to physical therapy and then bring me back home. And some other friends are doing some grocery shopping for me too. So take care of yourself and just go ahead and pre-plan and ask friends if they'd be willing to help you so you don't burn out your caregiver. Um, you are definitely going to need help doing showers, chores, dressing, cooking. Um, I hired a housekeeper and that was great. She didn't do as good a job as I typically do, but it's gonna get us through. I'm gonna have her probably come one more time before the six week period. And then we can just do a little bit of cleaning in between, but I highly recommend getting someone in here to help you clean and maybe even do the yard work. Um, sleeping, some people find it way more comfortable to be propped up in a recliner or on the couch or the bed with lots of pillows, and that's definitely been me. So I've been sleeping with four or five big pillows, and then I found that this pillow has been just wonderful. You can twist it, you can fold it, you can make it just perfect for wherever you want it to be. I like to just kind of like lean my, my head against it on the recliner and then have George put pillows all over. I have a link to this pillow on a blog that I've created a list of all of the helpful items that I think that you're gonna really like. Um, oh, and then sleeping. I was having a hard time sleeping because of the waist strap. So there's a waist strap that goes around the sling and the one that came with this sling was really fat. So this is the one that comes with the sling I have on. I had a secondary sling that has a much thinner strap, waist strap. So I switched that strap to this and what a difference. This doesn't seem like much, but it was really thick. When I was laying down, it was bugging me and I couldn't rest. So make sure that your waist strap of your sling is really thin. 
um, post-op questions. So I went to my post-op and it was great. I got an A+. Plus. Um, my incisions were healing really well. He liked the range of motion that I was in. He said the surgery went well. He showed me pictures from the surgery, explained them. That was really interesting. Um, told me what I would do, what I could and couldn't do. The main thing for me that they don't want me to jostle the arm, no doing this and no, um, they don't want me to fall and accidentally do that. So that might cause a failure. So he told me about that and then suggested how much longer I should be on medication and ice and told me to come back in at the six week mark and hopefully I'll be cleared for driving. Yay. Um, pain level much more manageable now. Now it just kind of aches. I maybe take like one Tylenol a day at that. Um, getting dressed is a chore. So I suggest you get yourself some elastic waisted um, shorts, sweatpants, skirts, um, big t-shirts. I'm right now wearing most of my son's t-shirts and sweatshirts um, and slip on shoes unless you have someone that can tie your shoes for me, for you. Um, I'm going to PT twice a week and then in between I'm doing exercises that she suggested anywhere from three to five times a day and I'm really being diligent because I want this to heal and I want full range of motion and strength back. Um, so that's about it. I will probably do one or two more of these so, so check back and be sure to go to the links that I have for you on quick and easy minimal prep foods that you can plan on and then also look for my link to my blog of Amazon products that I highly recommend.